Heyo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and we are back with another episode of Coaster Spotlight. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at Thunderbird Launch Coaster created by Zay4. So stay tuned and let's check it out. Zay4 is another one of our Discord members. He has sent this in and he says, Invoke the spirit of the Thunderbird and soar to 300 feet at 90 miles an hour over a top hat stall and through a synchronized top hat loop but beware of the waking of an ancient evil it includes two forward and one reverse powered launch which sends this fully mayan themed roller coaster over and through temples jungles and waterfalls hundreds of triggered events and sounds complete the ride best enjoyed at night connect the cues at three meter paths four meter snap to 90 degrees <laughs> he always says that it cracks me up um, those are like the minimum options. So I decided to do something different in this video as you guys would have saw in the intro or, or actually I guess while I'm giving the intro right now I might be doing it. I don't know how I'm going to do this in the editing process. However, I put the paths together and I recorded putting the paths together. So you might actually be seeing that now depending on how I do the editing. So let's take a quick look at the workshop. Uh, Thunderbird launch coaster. Here it is. Zapers workshop. Come rate it, favorite it, subscribe to it. 373 subscribers. Let's get this thing up to five stars guys. Come, if you have the game, come over here and rate this. Safer's work is incredible. I've talked about this time and time again. We featured almost all his creations. The last one we featured on the show was 3,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I absolutely love that one. And the Thunderbird is his most recent one. So let's get that to the front page of Steam, everybody. And go follow him, too. He's got great stuff. All right, so this thing looks amazing. Honestly, very unique design. He says it's a Mayan-themed. Look at the coaster itself. It reaches out so far. It's wrapping and it's swinging. Uh, these it's it's crazy it's like shoestrings just flying out everywhere it's amazing and it, it's one of the ones the torque launch where it goes over itself and connects back in this is the only coaster and track in the game that uh, connects back in with itself i really like it and it goes straight up and down i think he says there's a reverse launch at some point uh based off of that information i'm thinking it's gonna be an actually cool one like reverse doesn't really make sense to me at sometimes like why would you reverse it here that doesn't usually always make the most sense um but i feel like this one's gonna justify the reverse launch um we'll have to see so he says his best enjoyed at nighttime um i think we're gonna just get on with riding it there's a big temple over here can you go inside there's something in here Okay, the coaster kind of goes through. Yeah, it's really nicely decorated, as always. He's great at doing these compact coasters. I can't wait to see what Zafer does when we have 4,000 ple 4, piece blueprints coming soon. And you know what? I still have low detail on from the last. It was on medium detail. Now we're on high. Um, I'm excited to see what Zafer does with the 4,000 piece blueprints. However, I feel like... <laughs> Something about him having to be constricted to 2,000 is so fun to see what he does. And in some cases, he's uh, he too many. 4,000 might be too many pieces for Zay4, but it's going to be nice to see what he does in the future. Thunderbird, there it is. Really nice sign. It's all electrified. Got a little uh, phoenix or something. Or Thunderbird, I guess. <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, this looks great. Um, I love this little trellis up here for the boarding station. Awesome. So, he says to ride it at night. I think we'll... I want to do a day run, but he says it's best at night. Oh, I'm going to pause it. I don't want spoilers. Yeah, I like the lightning blue colors that he's used with the uh, soft pinkish orange lighting works really well it's cool and warm i love it all right let's get on this thing oh you know what i didn't open it up we're just gonna change the camera view so the stats are 7.21 a 5.28 and a 2.05 really good stuff here's the results two thousand meters in length this coaster looks like it's gonna be a fun one to ride it, yeah, I'm really excited about this. So we're going to let it fill up, and then we'll start the video. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. The lightning comes back to us? Oh, that's amazing. Oh, wow. 
Oh my goodness. I love how the electricity is what's launching you. That is incredible. Oh, and that one passes by us. So here we go. The reverse launch. I think this... Oh, there's a crack in here. All right. I might have been wrong about the reverse launcher. <laughs> Wow. Amazing. That was an incredibly exhilarating experience. I love that. Okay, we gotta go straight into cinematic, I think. Now I can see how he said hundreds of triggered events, all for that lightning, the electricity, I, I mean. I like this hold here, barely getting to the top. This is a beautifully designed coaster. Oh, and they're crossing, oh, I didn't notice that. That's why you needed to see cinematic. They were literally touching each other on the opposite tracks pieces. Oh my god, that's amazing. I'm in love with this coaster, you guys. The theming's great too, and to be honest, this is one of uh this is one of my favorite coaster designs that I've seen in a while. I like the Kraken jumping out there. It's a good use of it for that reverse pod. And there's the other one crossing underneath it. I love it. This is incredible. Wow, that is a magnificent design. And what I was talking about with the reverse launcher, I just, I don't see the point of it unless it launches you further and faster backwards. Let's just say it, it was, um, it was this way. So it, it reverse launched you, like it, it, you were coming down this way from right to left, and then it stopped you here. Then it reversed you, shot you over the loop down here, <laughs> back around, and then maybe eventually you, you come back up to a point, and then you go all the way back around and up. I mean, I just, I haven't seen a good use from the reverse mechanism. I just feel like, why not just stop you or slow you down and then boost you? Or just keep boosting you at that speed? I just don't really, I haven't seen a good use of that reversing mechanic. Sure, it's supposed to reverse you back up and then get you some speed, but you could have just gotten that speed coming through. So, I, I'm yet to see something that I think is... Uh, a really clever use of it, and I love that crisscross action. I, I want to see a clever use. I'm going to play around with the reverse launcher myself and see if I can come up with something clever to really make that reverse feel worthwhile. Nonetheless, the coaster design was amazing, and he made a good use of that reverse because it only reverses it a little bit, and then he made the Kraken come out at that point. So I felt like he uh, made use of it really well. And uh, we got one coming in right now, so let's check it out at daytime. Did we look at the stats? Yeah, we did. There they are, if not. You guys want to sit at the back of the coaster? Let's try this. Let's give this a go.
Their backs are clipping through the chair. This is pretty neat. So I want to speak about the Torque launch coaster for a second. I thought this design was a beautiful coaster, um, and I feel like this is how you're supposed to use the Torque launch coaster. This is a great example of it using that uh, inverted track piece. He even had it timed so that there was one underneath while there was one above it, um, how it interlinks with itself in this big inversion. I think this is the way you do a Torque launch coaster. You shoot yourself up to something like this, a peak. Um, the reason I, I was saying Torque launch coasters feel like cheating in most cases when you're making a big navigation coaster that takes you around the whole map because at any point you could just add in more boosters if your coaster is running out of momentum and some of the challenge when building a coaster is going how do i get this coaster back to the station based off of the momentum of the chain lift or the booster that i provided the coaster with and sometimes you have to go back you have to increase the length of your lift and you have to make adjustments or you have to make bigger drops you have to give it more speed um, or sometimes you have to add trim brakes because the lift was too high and you have to keep adjusting your coaster in order for the navigation coaster the scenery the train coaster to get back into the station so i don't really like it when people use torque coasters for terrain and navigation and i did it for yeti land but i didn't feel too happy about it and i gave my reasons why i try to avoid it and i feel like this design here is a perfect blueprint and a perfect example of how i think a nice torque coaster should be run it has all the gnarly inversions the big loops uh the pretzel rolls and the inverted what i don't know what you call this thing interlinked inversion and the gigantic uh he called uh, the hat stall so i think that's the way you do it so well done say for i love this as an example for me depending on what's in for the month this is this could possibly want to be one of my top 10 favorites i really enjoyed this one um the theming it's not over the top but it's enough i like the temple i like the boarding station it's very well designed but i really loved the coaster the design was great it was a fun experience experience it was exciting and um and that lightning was real cool so well done so once again everybody that was thunderbird launch coaster created by zayfor links will be down in the description as always and that's going to do it for this episode of coaster spotlight if you guys enjoyed please be sure to smash that like button if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe for more daily planet coaster videos and let me know what you guys thought of the thunderbird down in the comments below all right everybody i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you guys in the next video bye now <laughs>